Okay, this is from one bandicoot four four five five. You're asking about your technique. I think it's great. You're working on developing. You know, just from the from the very beginning that you are, your ability to strike the ball and the fact that it's going forward. I think that's excellent. I think you got to keep on working a little bit every day. One tool that can really help you improve your game is a ball and a rope, right? Because th they this is um clubs, multi-million dollar clubs from all over the world encourage their players to use kick trainers. I'm talking AC Milan, Sevilla, Ajax, right? Wesley Snyder talked about using a ball and a rope when he was younger. Um, this is something that you can use going on walks. You can use it while you're watching, you know, games on TV. You can, you, you know, you bring it to school, you bring it to work, you bring it on vacation. I talk about um, a trip I went on recently I took this ball to Paris, France, and in one day walking around Paris, I must have got 5,000 touches easily, probably more, but it's just an effortless way to just improve your striking ability, improve your first touch, and you can start to develop your awareness, right? <sighs> Breathing, relaxed. And look, in the time that it took you to record that video where you took five shots, for every five shots that you took and had to reset, I've gotten 25, right? So you can kind of see how this is really going to help you um, not just not just develop striking technique, but repetitions, right, in a relaxed way. Because you can feel if you miss hit the ball, and you could start to immediately recalibrate your striking technique, right? If I glance, if I glance it off, you'll say, oh, now I can just change the way I'm striking it and you could feel when it hits a sweet spot on your foot it's almost like you'll know immediately so what this is gonna do is allow you to uh, rapidly change it's just gonna help you rapidly improve that's all I can say right and it's this one's 24 bucks this is the SKLZ kick trainer from Amazon but you could make it yourself you know someone told me they tied they tied a dog toy to a jump rope and they were overthinking, you know, shooting training, right? It's easy. Just get a size one or a size two ball or a tennis ball, any ball, throw it on some rope or a string, tie yourself a knot with some duct tape or whatever, and then boom, you got yourself a kick trainer. So, right, it's simple enough. Um, the second thing you want to do is, um, well, there's two things that you can do to improve your shooting. The first is improve your juggling. Anyone who's got shooting, who's anyone who's got shooting problem, or anyone who wants to develop their shooting, should develop their juggling. Because if you think about what juggling is, it's rhythmic shooting. Even that little touch, right? That little touch, if that's shooting, right? Because you say, let's say you you go pass them the ball but then it ends up going into the goal. You say, well, is that a pass or is that a shot? Or, you know, you, sh you, you shoot the ball on goal and then one of your teammates, they stop, they trap it and then they finish. Well, was that a shot or a pass, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what that means is your ability to juggle the ball, right? Not, not all the best jugglers are the best players, but all the best players are the best jugglers. So even spending one or two minutes a day developing your juggling abilities, right? Right, left, or if they're not strong in the beginning, you go right, bounce, left, bounce, right, bounce, get into a nice rhythm. And you could do it if you have that wall, easy access to the wall, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, get into a nice rhythm. And this is gonna, you're gonna see a huge improvement in your shooting, I promise you. So you wanna, um, invest in right spend a minute a few minutes a day kick trainer a few minutes a day juggling and third is dribbling right because think about it if you can't if you can't dribble effectively on the field so that you can create passes with your teammates you're not even gonna get to the point where that you can shoot the ball because you will not make it that far you got to be able to control the ball effectively or else you're never gonna get the shot off so you want to you want to check out, search Cover, Cover Skills app, or Cover Ball Mastery on YouTube. That's C O E, 
C-O-E-R-V-E-R, -E Cover, right? This guy's got a, he's doing skills training for years, right? He's got a track record for being, um, well, it's a system. He just shows you ball mastery moves and you learn one a month, you learn one a week, or you could do one a, one a day, or you could, you know, you could squeeze in 10. You could learn 10 moves a day, just as long as you start spending a minute, spend a little bit, just do a little bit, and then you just get a little bit better, right? Because you start to stack ball mastery moves. It's just like anything. It's like if you're a pitcher, you have a fastball, and then maybe you learn a slider, then you, you know, you learn a changeup. You start stacking your skills, and then you're gonna be able to shoot more because you're gonna create better opportunities for yourself, right? Those are the fundamentals, dribbling, juggling, passing or shooting you got to spend a little bit of time on them and that's going to help that's going to you're going to see a tremendous improvement in your shooting abilities so uh reach out with any questions and i hope this helps all right thank you